And welcome to Two Idiots Reading Comics. Uh, this is a bit of a different video today. Hey. Um, we are celebrating our first full year as a podcast. One year, baby. Um, so we're going to be doing our top ten. Your top ten, my top ten. Yes. Favorite books that we've read on the comic, uh, in the podcast so far. Yeah. Um, as always, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, tell your friends, your family, anyone that's interested in comics. Uh, go check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, go subscribe to our YouTube page, and as always, go listen to us wherever you get your podcasts. Yep. And uh, any books we talk about oh, yeah. in this video, we're gonna pay. Uh, uh, it should be coming up right, right above here. Davis's head and that little eye. So if you want to check out any of these books we talk about, go click it there. Yeah, and that uh, way you can catch up and uh, hope you join for our next year. Yeah, and many years come. Hopefully. Yeah, um, but let's get into our list. All right, we messed up big time. Uh, the file for the rest of this video is, was corrupted. We can't use it anymore. That being said, um, we did upload this to our podcast feed. So if you'd rather go listen there, uh, have at it. Um, if you're new to the channel, this is a comic book book club podcast. Uh, it comes out every Tuesday. You can listen to us anywhere you get your podcast. Um, feel free to go subscribe. Um, that being said, the rest of this video is just uh, clips of comics and the audio from the video we tried to make. So if you'd rather just listen to it, feel free. Uh, if you're new here, go ahead, subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff, and do the same thing on our podcast. Also, for the people that do come and watch, our stats say 40% of our viewers aren't subscribed. So go ahead and subscribe. Uh, thanks for listening to us and sticking around for our first year. Uh, but let's get into the video. And welcome to the best damn top 10 list on the internet. Ooh, Probably not, but it's, def- no, no, it's no. our best top 10 it's list. It's our best top 10. Um, so far. Um, top 10, the 52 we've done. Yeah. Um, so I guess this is going to go, we'll take turns. We're obviously going 10 to 1. 10 to 1. And uh, if, if we can talk a little bit about it. but Yeah, yeah. if I have one at a higher number than Talmadge does, he'll you acknowledge... Won't He'll acknowledge that yeah. it's on the list, but I won't tell you. But what's he won't fine. tell you yeah. until we get to his yeah. whatever, and uh, we go from there. Yeah, but uh, it's a top ten list. We won't overcomplicate yeah. it unless <laughs> we already did. That's uh, about it. But we can go to who wants? You want to go first? You want no. me to go first? Rochambeau for it. Just um, Rochambeau. Right my the definition I know is right purpose. Kick system. someone in the nuts until someone gives up. So no, I don't <laughs> want to do that. Um, I'll just give go ahead and let you go first. So. All righty. Uh, so my top my number 10, ten is uh is one we've done very recently, uh, Seven Secrets. Seven Secrets. Okay. Seven Secrets is my top um, ten, or my s- ten. As someone who told you to read it, not on mine. Really? Made like uh, honorable mentions, but uh, did not make it. I think I was worried about recency bias, um, which will make sense I, later. I but. can see that, but also if you're so. We talked about it on the episode. Um, I've, I've been buying the issues. And so based on one through six, uh, I don't know if I'd put it in my top ten. Yeah. But on seven and eight, it you definitely would have. Ten. It definitely uh, would have. Okay. Um, but those weren't as part of the first volume. Correct, right, right, right. So, but see, for me, is, is reading them as a whole collection, it, I, I really enjoyed the, the idea, the... The whole seven secrets yeah. that could destroy the world yeah. and this secret organization that has to yep. give them secret. Yeah. It's definitely a fun book, uh, put out by boom studios. Um, I think written by Tom Taylor. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, started in August of 2020. Yeah. Uh, definitely worth checking out, but, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and go to my number 10. Uh, actually one of our favorite writers, uh, fucking, Donnie Cates. Donnie Cates. Jesus. But not the book that you think it is. Doctor Strange Damnation. Oh, okay. Um, uh, you ooh. just look for wow. a uh, fun time and a magic. I told you I've been really into the magic stuff yeah, recently. Yeah, that one would. And this one's just huh. a whole lot of fun um, okay. with Mephisto. And, I mean, you got uh, Moon Knight picking up Thor's hammer saying, 
At least one of my personalities had to be worthy. And then it gets, and then, but it's getting snatched out of his hand. Yeah, and you also had Johnny Blaze and a whole bunch of cool characters. Blade was in there. Okay, a whole right. bunch of fun right. characters. Um, and just Vegas and Mephisto's Vegas. being a smartass all the time. It was a lot of fun. All right, I see that. Um, was it in yours? Didn't even make my honorable mention. Didn't even. Oof. Just saying. I, wow. Yes, it's cool. It's like going back and talking about it, but. Also, I love the colors in that book. It Whoever was colored good. that book that, that was, was, that was amazing. really good. Uh, now, I guess my biggest thing was, I guess I didn't know the character enough backstory, uh-huh. so it kind of was just a good story. It was just a four issue miniseries, right? It? And, okay. Um, it left the good bit hanging. Of course, it was a oh yeah. They, there's some good going. For we still a, don't know if they're doing Ghost a sequel Rider. to it. Yeah. Um, um, but no, it was good. Mm-hmm. But I guess I didn't have enough. I do enjoy our magic that we've been doing, yeah. but ah, no honorable mention. I got you. All right. Uh, Number nine, uh, Manifest Destiny, Volume Manifest One. Manifest Destiny. Yes. Um, did not make. Are you? It was what? It was. <laughs> did honestly, he make honorable? It was in the honorables. Oh, um, holy shit! I knew. I knew for sure it was, uh, was going to get your top ten. It would have been like eleven or twelve. If I'm fair, a fair. lot of the ones. So how I did my list, I went through our entire YouTube feed. And then of course the ones I knew, um, we're, we're filming this yeah. before a lot of these have come or some of these have come out. Um, I knew what we were going to read. And then I, uh, I got 16 that I was like, okay, these are in contention. Um, manifest destiny was in my honorable mention, but a lot of the ones that I crossed out were ones that I had read before the, uh, we started the podcast, and so that one was just like, all right, I'm rereading this. I've seen oh, it before. Wow. So, yeah, was Damn, not, did not I, make my top ten. I knew I would have put money that Manifest was in your top ten just from when you originally read it and you were telling me no, about it. No, it's really good. Years ago. No doubt it's really good. That got me even um, back in, that got me into going to get comics. Like, for those that don't know what it is, it's Lewis and Clark going out to settle the West. Yeah. But turns out there's monsters everywhere. Yeah. The um, West is magic. Yeah. Um, very good. Uh, put out by Image. I don't remember the writer off the top of my head. I don't either. Definitely worth checking out, though. Wow. Um, but yeah, did not make my top ten. Shit. Okay. Um, so... Number nine, and I have a note here. Six through nine were all very close and could be interchangeable. I, I had a clear top five, but then like six through nine, I could argue for I could, moving I, up I, or I moving could down agree. I could agree with mine. Um, um, I might push mine to six, but... But uh, number yeah. nine for me was 100 bullets. Okay. Not even my honorable mention. Not even your honorable? No. Wow. Okay. Um, I think that's just an amazing concept. Uh, if you don't know, 100 bullets, uh, some stranger walks up to you. Um, let's say you've had some traumatic uh, event in your life, completely ruined everything. Um, the stranger walks up to you with a briefcase, has 100% proof of who caused that in your life, and a gun with untraceable gun, untraceable bullets. Um, and you're free to do with that as you will. Um, teases, um, some big, uh, big bad spy or some type of bad blood, like bigger organizations, uh, targeting someone that had wronged them in the past type Mm -hmm. deal. But it was a very good, um, and this was a vertigo book. Um, and I think has been picked up for a TV show. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Um, hundred bullets did make my honorable for volume one because I've only read volume one. Correct. Right? That's yeah. what I'm saying yeah. is you said didn't or did it did not make my honorable okay. because of the volume one was good and yeah. the concept's great. But for what we read of it, I needed more. I, it, it was, I, I it wasn't enough it was to get going. you to go get volume two. And I haven't even thought about it until you just said it. Huh. Okay. It, but I mean, the idea I, was, yeah. yes, it is okay. an amazing idea, but no, it, we're whenever how long since then and okay all right uh yeah. number eight uh east of west volume one didn't even is in my top 10. god dang finally is in my top 10, 10. yes uh, uh just the whole apocalyptic earth um alternate timeline histories gosh is, that had to be that was like that month was, one wasn't that was it? month one episode four Ooh, yeah 
Um, it, yeah, episode four. Uh, uh, image also. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just the idea of the Civil War doesn't end. There was a ceasefire. Yes, alternate history. And then the Indian nations broke apart. Louisiana king, became a kingdom. The Republic of Texas. The, there are uh, seven kingdoms. Yeah, yeah. the Pacific the new coast was is like now, China uh, or something. The, the Asian Empire. Yeah. Or is an Asian Empire. Mm-hmm. Uh, just that whole idea. And they're searching for a child with the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Although one of them is uh, the good guy. It's death, death, isn't it? Death yeah. is good. Death and is you've the got plague, famine, and... Protagonist. Plague, famine, and war yeah. are... Trying to kill death. Yeah. yeah it, it just. Um, very good book. Um, obviously, we don't want to break out into a whole episode because. No, of, but uh, yeah, just the premise. Yeah, definitely. That's another one you went and read ahead, didn't you? Yeah, I've read all the way through volume. You read all four. the ones that you could get for free on. Yeah, Thomas and then the yeah. rest are just sitting in the um, That's also one I forgot. I think it was like right after Vader. You were like, let's do East to West. And I was yeah. like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> But yeah, um, very good. Also in my top ten. Yeah. But uh, my number eight, Ultimate Spider-Man, Miles Morales. It's on my list. On your list. Yeah. Um, for this one was purely. They talk about like the Spider-Man books of the old days, and you know it's just like a high schooler going through high school troubles, and also dealing with super villains, yeah. and um, you haven't had that with Peter Parker in a while. And Miles Morales, this, the, I think it was like the first volume of Miles Morales in the yeah. Ultimate Universe, but, and it puts you right back in the good old days of high school kid going through yeah, high school it drama. Puts you, it puts you in the young Peter Parker without being an 80s comic. Yeah. It gave you a new also, world feel with gadgets and yeah. gizmos, and it didn't give you that weird, uh, I know uh, Disney tried to do uh, the, the kid version of Peter Parker as yeah. an animated show. Mm. Um, I don't remember what they called it. But I don't know. Peter Parker being that young at the time of knowing where Peter Parker was in the comics yeah. didn't did, just didn't seem to connect like Miles Morales. Yeah. And uh, was also does. a big fuck you to all the fans who said Donald Glover couldn't be Spider-Man because he's black. Yeah, which I is fucking love it. Yeah. Um, nah. Sometimes comic book fans need tough love. Yeah, but yeah. Miles, I, Miles is probably one of my favorite... Uh, all-time characters. Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that for a little while. Okay. All right. Uh, so number I just did, I just did number eight. Yep. So you're on seven. Number seven, Civil War. Civil War? Civil War. It didn't make your top ten. Honorable mention. Really? Well, okay, that's not surprising. Because um, of what we've read, I, I can... I, that was like my third time reading it. And when we... That's back when we thought we had to take... Because that was like episode one, was, wasn't it? That was our first episode. Episode one. Yeah, episode one. Um, that was also the first time I took note. We thought we had to take over oh God, I took, dramatically I think notes. I took four pages which of Which if now, if you see my notes now. It's there are no notes. <laughs> basically. Um, and I just kind of noticed some of the plot holes. Oh, now, if oh, you're talking about, if you talk about like top five ever or like top 10 ever, I think it definitely is up there in my opinion. Now, how does it not get you top But it's 10? not my top 10 favorite that we've read on the podcast. So but far. How does it get your top 10 all time then? If it's not your top 10 in what we've read, because that would be considered all time. I would, well, let's take it to sports real quick. I would consider Alabama a top three, honestly, the number one college football program in the history of the world. Doesn't mean I like them. Doesn't mean they're my favorite. Okay, gotcha now. It's not your all time one. Top ten. It's, it's just not my the favorite. World's. It is. I Possibly think it is one of the yeah. world. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Now. All right. That makes. makes is that sense. how? Did you frame your list like that, or did you frame it as what you thought was the best? Uh, what I thought was the best. Okay. Yeah. I framed it as my favorite, but yeah. Well, or were those my kind favorite, of favorite? Yeah, my yeah. favorite is the best. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I, I framed it as my gotcha. favorites are my best. All right, but it wasn't my honorable mention. Damn. Okay. Um, I. Wow. I don't think we need to tell you what Civil War was, but uh, basically. All the Marvel superheroes got into a fight about whether or not uh, they, they should, should be, be uh, working for the government yeah. instead of as like free agents. Give her their shit. identities. Okay, so mm-hmm. this one won't take long. My number seven was East of West. So okay, we've one already different. hit that one. one. Yeah, one off. Yeah. Okay, all right. We've hit that one. Uh, so you can go ahead and do your number six. Number six, 
is uh is our first is my first uh large is is our first uh continuous Darth Vader. All four volumes. Number six? Six. Number six for me. Really? Vader, Dark Lord hey! of the Sith. Hey, do you um, do all the series or you just do volume one? I took this as the entire thing. Because um, we did a continuous. Because they, yeah. Okay. And um because we didn't differ- some of these I'm taking as the whole series. Uh, some of these I'm taking yeah, as just one volume. I think that's my only. The, I've got one no, other one that'll yeah, be a series, one other but one. other than that, and I think uh, we both I know was, what that yeah, is. Yeah, it just depends um, on who put it where. Yeah, um, Dark Lord of the Sith was just a completely awesome Darth Vader story, um, and you're of course way more into Star Wars than I am, but just I am enjoying with the Disney Plus stories yes. and yes. Um, that comic book. Uh, deep diving deeper into Star Wars because I mean you're seeing with the Marvel Plus shows now getting to spend you, more time with them with the characters in the world because this one give you a little context Darth Vader starts right yeah. after episode 3 you start with uh, their own Mustafar Anakin and Obi-Wan Anakin's yes. left left burning and then your next scene is him on the table in Vader in yeah. his regalia yeah and Palpatine fucking him up yeah um, and I will then go ahead. he gets to get his saber, and yeah. you get they bring the lore of bleed. Yeah. How to get a red kyber crystal is to bleed the life yep. out of a crystal. Yeah, and that uh, like that is canon law now. Like mm-hmm. it is uh, very good, uh, awesome deep dive on Darth Vader. There have been multiple series. We were specifically talking about Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith. Yes, this um, is. Um, and what that I don't was remember the years, but it happened four volumes. It was four volumes, yeah. and it happened. Um, it, the timeline is between episode three, like right after episode three, and before, four. well before four yeah. started. So, like um, the first like four years of Vader's um, reign, yeah, because he's got Inquisitors, they're hunting Jedi. Mm-hmm. It is that one. Yeah, you get to see the Jedi, yeah, you get to see the formation of the Inquisitors. Yeah, so uh, I think uh, the first five years, I think, yeah. of of Vader's reign. But uh, that was both our number six, and like I said, uh. My six through nine was very close. Those could have been interchangeable. Yeah, I could see that. Um, so you're number five. Number five, Batman White Knight. My number five, Batman <laughs> White Knight. <laughs> um, I've been saying this for years. Uh, I understand that every writer wants to do their take on the Joker and all that stuff. This was the first one in a while yeah. that made it interesting and different. Um, to me, outside for those of just- you don't know. Harley Quinn has a master plan. Um, Hell of a master yeah. plan. Also, giant canic spoiler. I guess we should put that up. Spoiler alerts for all these. Oh, um, if you're joining us, you yeah. understand what's happening. Um, but she shoves. She somehow gets Batman to shove pills into Joker's mouth, makes him sane for a little while, and um, basically Napier wants to point out and highlight how Batman has become reckless and he is actually. Contributing to the destruction of Gotham, um, and actually makes you like the like the Joker like in a non like yeah. villain way. Um, um, and now I'm for me, it's just White Knight. Not yes, no, not, I did not, not take the second one. The second one, the was, second one was good, but it didn't. I, I couldn't it didn't count subtract, it. I it didn't add it in and keep it. Yeah, at, the way at I had it, it was it didn't take away from White Knight, but it also didn't like it didn't add a whole lot. Yeah. Um, but, um, so that was both our number five and yep. my number three through five could have all been interchanged also um, based on different arguments. My, uh, I could say that probably yeah. three through, yeah, three through five. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, seven through 10 could probably go anyway. Yeah. Um, Vader though, it just sits real steady. Just. Yeah. But uh, your number four? Number four, Venom. Not on my anything. Shit. All right. Um, now, I'll, before you get into your little uh, take, um, we kind of overdid Venom. We, bur- we burned ourselves. And there wasn't one specific volume that stood out. And I didn't want to take the whole series, so I I I wrote Venom Volume One. Okay, but I, though I sit here, it almost has to be the entire series. Yeah, but Venom Volume One did introduce us, did bring us into what mm-hmm. is one of my favorite runs. Okay, um, 
and, and I guess I'm going to call it Venom. Donny Cates Venom. Donny Cates Venom. Donny Cates Venom run. Um, as to the ones that we've read so yes. far. Uh, I, I've, I've got to, I've got to put him up there. Okay. We've put so, we've put so much effort into him and I enjoyed he also All made us it. go through two crossovers, which I was though that that ugh, took a lot of weight. Confusing, but, but I even said though if they had put car- absolute carnage, the 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 crossover, and then Donny Cates's Venom together as yeah. a one two three four, mm-hmm. it would it alone would have been yeah. in my top ten. So yeah. putting if they it made all it together, a Venom event instead of a whole Marvel event, I, yeah, definitely. Um, and again, the um, War of the Realms took a little away. But again, just because they those were issues, but then didn't even count it as a true volume. No, three. because then we don't top. Yeah, there but it issues. is good. I have I have a lot of issues with it, but mm. we didn't spend that much time on it for nothing. For yeah. me, no, uh, it, it was it good. Is, it is. It 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 had to go in my top four. Yeah, and I know there's a lot of talking about it, but um. So I'll go ahead and go my number four, and again, I repeat. This could have easily been number three, but my number four is Saga. Damn, yeah. I didn't even make honorables. Didn't even make honorables? Nope. But you it told should, me how much you loved have, that one. It should have. I, I missed it reading through it. <sighs> oh, I, I, man. I it, did not it, mean to blow in the mic. But, um, it needs to be an honorable. Um, wow. Okay. Um, so, if you've lived under a rock and haven't read any Saga, it's probably the biggest epic in all of... Or not, it probably is the biggest sci fi epic in all of comic books. Yeah. Uh, and it's going right now. And um, it's a little bit of Romeo Juliet mixed with a little bit of Star Wars, mixed with a little bit of Star Trek, mixed with uh, everything you love yeah. about sci fi. And um, with some magic. And yeah. Now, have you read past volume one? No, but um, I imagine we will someday on the show. Um, I, I think, again, that's another one that just kind of, yeah, it was amazing. Mm-hmm. But if there was multiple volumes, yeah, it would have probably cracked it. Okay. But for not being for, we, for just the one, we haven't done it as a uh, continuous. Yet. Well, that and we just had we never hit that oomph that 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 next. Uh, I got you. That next oomph factor that mm-hmm. would have pulled it in. Okay. Well, so you're number three. Number three, Miles Morales. God, you that got up high. You did. I just put it in my top ten because it was fun. Where'd you put it? Oh yeah, you put I it. I had up. it at uh number eight. Eight? Nah, I, I just long enough I forgot you had it in your <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I just I enjoyed Miles Morales that much and getting to see him kind of become the new Spider Man. I got you. With Peter Parker's death mm-hmm. and taking and, that mantle. And reappearance. And reappearance. Yeah. But, taking uh, that mantle, um kind of like Peter. Well, Peter didn't really have a death. He had his uncle die, but that was yeah. before his pop. Either way. We've also already talked about this one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I was trying to argue for okay. my third spot. But I yeah. got you. Number three. Okay. <laughs> my number three, and I know it's probably not on yours, I Kill Giants. Yeah, I didn't make my, didn't, didn't even. In my honorable mentions? Yeah, you, um, you knew that was coming. I did know that one's coming, but it's been, as I hope my mom and dad aren't watching this, but there are legit times where sometimes I'm just numb to everything in the world. And uh, And if someone says they aren't, I think they're lying. Yeah. Um, And it came to me during a numb time, and boy, this will make you feel something. Oh, yeah. Um, Um, I cried the entire seventh issue. Um, I know if you haven't, uh, (laughs) go watch that episode because I yell at Davis for. Uh, I guess he was. I was looking for something. He. Uh, I was looking for something different. He was. Um. I guess. Uh. He didn't go for long for the ride. He kept going. When's all these giants gonna show up? <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah. I was, when there's only one. But I mean, it was really good. Um. It's definitely a tearjerker, and something I always recommend to everyone now. Um. Yeah. I kill giants. Um. And once you explain it to me, or the way you yeah. see it. It, it's really, it, it's oh, the yeah. concept is amazing, mm-hmm. but because of the way I read it cold, it just, yeah, it, it, it didn't work. I got you. So you're number two. Number two, Mighty Morphin. My number two, the Power Rangers as a series. Yes. Now I'm super curious as what your number one is, but um, we just did volume three this week. Um, yeah. 
Go check it out. You can check our one from, uh, I think it was the last day of December of 2020. And that was we went off one. 40, or was it January 1? It was either January 1 or December 31st. It was the, it was the last Tuesday of December. Yeah. and uh, it, it ran us into the new year. We went, f- <laughs> I mean, it was plus. midnight when we were doing that yeah. one. And we... We were Good dead, buzz. we were tired, yeah. and then we started talking about Power Rangers for 45 Good minutes. going on. And, and uh, it's an awesome series, so much that we've, every other day, having to talk ourselves out of buying the $500 yeah. complete set um, by Boom Studios, Kyle Higgins. Definitely check it out. I mean, and we're on Volume 3 with the same story arc, and yeah. it's, still, it's still keeping you there. It's mm. still wanting, it's reaching out going, hey, come back. Oh yeah, you come back and read it. Come back mm-hmm. and pay attention. Um, so you're number one because I definitely I thought Power Rangers gonna be your one. Court of Owls. Court of Owls, really? Yeah. Honorable mention, but like I said, a lot of my honorable really, mentions that had I had already. Uh, oh yeah. A lot of my honorable mentions that I had already read, I crossed off. So. Uh no, Court of Owls for me just the idea of showing Bruce Bruce's family being caught up in a shitstorm mm-hmm. and real canon because this was canon, right? Yeah, this yeah. was the New 52. Um, yeah. Showing that his family getting caught up in the stuff, that Gotham mm. had this even darker underworld. That was also the beginning to the just awesome run of Scott Snyder and yeah. Greg Capullo had. Um, the idea that, kind of like what they did with Dar- with um, um, Charles Soule did with Darth Vader, mm-hmm. introducing these tidbits that are behind the scenes that everyone always had question, excuse me, questions about and then actually giving it an idea, yeah. giving a real, oh, yeah. real idea to it. Just he also, it was just like you at the time. Batman was real cocky and yeah, said uh, Gotham yeah. is completely mine. There's nothing I don't know about it, and, uh, and he oh, got proved wrong. Yeah, uh, that and um, the whole idea that Nightwing was supposed to be and how they created the next a, owl. Yeah, and how they created a new villain that could easily fit in all the old lore because. They're a group of wealthy people who operate in the yeah, shadows. Yeah, and, and that's what I was talking like yeah. with the bleeding of the uh, Kyber Crystal. It's, yeah. This is stuff that everyone had an idea, gave their own headcanon of, yeah. and then they just wrote it down. Yeah. They said, here's what we, mm-hmm. this is what we want to give you. Yeah, definitely worth checking out. That's yeah. uh, It's a two, it's, it's a 12 two, issue yeah. storyline split between two volumes. Yeah. And, and that to me is both volumes. It, yeah. it's, it's, it's the whole arc there. It just So my number one, and it might be a little bit of recency bias. X Men, God Love, Man oh, Kills. Damn, not even honorable. No, really. I mean, damn, I don't man. know. Maybe it's just because I grew up in such a strict, or not super strict, but yeah, like I... so the smaller pe- the people who in my school went to smaller churches said the church I went to was a cult and brainwashed everybody. <laughs> so, wow. Um, hearing or seeing this was super interesting. Um, when, you know, Reverend Stryker is doing and saying all these horrible things in the name of God. Yeah. Not that the church I went to did anything like that. Um, yeah. Get that clear. But, um, and then also the parallels between the civil rights movement and humans finally did something so wrong that it shook Charles Xavier to the point of he didn't know if he was right anymore, and maybe yeah. Magneto was right. Yeah, to join, he almost joined with Magneto. Yeah, um, and I think it should be taught in schools as part of like civil rights and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's really fucking good. Yeah, I, I, it's good. And like as we talked about, like best all time ever. I think that that goes up in, in the there. top ten all right. of best all time all right. ever. Um, especially if you're talking about like cultural things and stuff like that. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Um, I think the whole '80s, the that kind of yeah. that to me takes it takes a chunk out of it. Um, the style, not of you just like else. modern artwork. I, I, I think so, yeah. and that, that takes a little bit out of it for me. Yeah. Um, but yes, uh, a good, very good. But mm-hmm. um, um, just some. You want to read some honors, or are we? Uh, uh, yeah, we can do some honorable mentions if you want. I, I, we won't really talk about them. Uh. So my honorables were Red Sun, yep, Invincible, so uh, Why the Last Man. How did I not? I did not have Invincible or Why the Last Man. Although, I think Invincible, if you take Volume One just by itself, 
volume two as well. A little, and oh, probably yeah, a little we did recency, do volume two. Pr- yeah. Probably a little recency bias. That's yeah. why I didn't put it in the ten. Yeah. Uh, Why the Last Man and Saga were my. I had Civil War, Manifest Destiny, Seven, uh, Seven Secrets, the Batman and the Ninja Turtle crossover. Oh, see, I re- I didn't need, I yeah. didn't honorable, but I saw it. Red Sun and then Batman Court of Owls, the one that okay. I crossed out. All right. Um, but thank y'all for sticking around. Yeah. For a full year. Uh, hopefully y'all can get some more people to come with us, and uh, we appreciate y'all listening to us. And uh, if we are here in another year, we'll give you our next top ten. Yeah. And uh, I guess we'll see y'all Tuesday. Bye. Bye.